Welcome back to Midday Kentucky, everyone. Well, today we're starting a brand new segment that we will be doing every month, and here's what it's called. Pillow Talk, Pillow Talk, another night of hearing. I love it. See, you like that? <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Um, uh, we were... Doctor, thank you for coming on the show. Yes. Um, this is very exciting. Very you're, you're just taking a deep breath, I mean, aren't you? You've been on a show talking on, about sex. I know, I would be on the this whole show. show. <laughs> All right, it's, it's important to keep the heat in your relationship, even in the summer. Dr. Kristen Mark is here to answer those questions for you. We put this out and we asked all of our viewers to write in and hear us some of your questions. Okay. All right. I have been looking for a sexologist okay. to come on the show yep. because I think people would rather write in mm -hmm. and ask a question than actually hear it face to face. Right. It's anonymous. All right. Yep. And I promise these are none of the questions that I wrote myself. Okay. <laughs> and it's are got you sure nothing about that? to. Yeah. <laughs> Just <laughs> and it's got nothing to do with my sex from life. From a friend. It's yeah, from a it's friend. just from a friend. All right, Summer is officially here, so tell us, what does the science say about sex in the summer? This is an intelligent viewer who wrote that in. Well, um, I'm glad they're interested in the science. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, typically, we, see, we do see an increase in the frequency of sex in the summer. Um, now, see, I thought that would be winter. Well, okay, yes. So the the highest peak in frequency happens between in the holidays, between Christmas and New Year's specifically. But the longest, the second highest peak and one that lasts much longer is actually in the summer months. And hmm. yeah, so we do see an increase that. in sex. What do Even you though think, it's Dusty? hot outside, people are still <laughs> My producers, what do you think, Dusty? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Something. She's all for sex. Yeah. She's all oh, for she's, it. Oh, that's right. We're all. Oh, all oh yeah. my gosh. All right. What does what? science say about single people versus people in a relationship? Right. Yeah, that's a great question because um, the difference is that in the summertime, we do see that single people engage in a lot more frequent sex and it's riskier sex. Singles so do in summer. Singles do in summer. Because so they're, they're less likely drinking. to use condoms. Oh, they're, yeah, they're less likely to, um, you know, ask their partner if they've been tested, um, a variety of things. So. Okay. Does this translate on vacation when you're on vacation as well? Well, so you vacation. You know, the whole conversation, what goes on in Vegas stays Oh, in yeah, Vegas. yeah. So what's interesting about that is that you can kind of, you, well, first of all, you end up having more vacation time in the summer, right? So these two things are related. They're not going to be separate. Additionally, though, you can sort of mimic the feelings of summer if you're on a vacation. And with, with couples, you asked about the difference between sort of singles and people in relationships. There hasn't been any specific research that's looked into frequency of sex in couples on vacation and in the summer necessarily. However, we do know that there's this thing called self-expansion, and that's really beneficial for couples. So couples who engage in activities that sort of expand their world, right? Can I jump in? Yeah. What do you mean by self-expansion? So, Not just holidays, like... No, no. So anything. So any sort of... And this is why we see that in early relationships, it's really exciting, right? There's tons of passion because there's a lot of self-expansion happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. you're learning all about this person's new world. You're learning all about everything that they're interested in. And these are new for you. You're getting to know this person. That tends to teeter off in longer-term relationships. But you can still recreate opportunities for self-expansion by doing things like planning a vacation that appeals to both of you and can allow for both of you to sort of expand your world in a meaningful do way. Something different. Do something different, do something together, try it together. And the summertime offers many more opportunities for that, mm. which tends to in turn sort of increase that passion factor in the relationship. Interesting. Mm -hmm. What's the next question? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're taking what? tips. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, like can I just write this down? I mean, can I just write this down for a minute? No, just... she's, she's completely zooming in on what you're saying. <laughs> I forgot Number I was four. here. Yeah, no. Uh, <laughs> what about summer? sex versus vacation sex. Well, I just sort of yeah. sort of alluded to that, right? Yeah. So there is, a, th there is the ability to kind of create those feelings of vacation within the summertime, more so than okay. other times of the year. Yeah. All right. The thing is, is we want to know your questions. We're going to post this story up on our Facebook page. Write in and tell us what you would like us to ask Miss, my new friend, Dr. Kristen Mark. 
there's all the information up on the screen as well. Do you take patients to come and see you as well? And I do see clients in the Family Center at UK. Yeah, I yep. love that. 859-257. Let's just pop up that number again. I just I was halfway through reading it. 859-257-8935. <laughs> Thank you so much. We appreciate it.